Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is a deck unboxing, flick through, first look at the Way of the Panda Baby Edition. I do have the Kickstarter Edition, it's Big Brother, and the Dream Edition, which is also another sibling. Um, there's three editions. As you can see, it's, it's, it's smaller, much smaller than the uh, other editions. It's also a little bit narrower. I will do it on this one because this comparison if you look it's also a little bit um thinner narrower than the other editions um i might do a comparison video at some point um obviously these are my little bruised babies this one's really battered um but there's a story behind that um but yeah so they've got big siblings have got i always but i bought the bruised ones because they still deserve to be loved However, the uh, baby one, I did say if there was any baby ones that were bruised, feel free to send them, but it, there wasn't any by the sound of it. Um, so yeah, so this is obviously Way of the Panda Tarot by Kimberly and Zan. And um, it's illustrated by Celia LaBelle or LaBelle. I really need to work out which way to pronounce that. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. So I'll just take the plastic off. The cards are majorly the same. I think there's the extra bonus baby, the extra bonus cards that you get with these decks. So that's the front, the side has this lovely thumb hole, thumb hole for the two part box, which I absolutely love because it makes it so much easier. So there you go. It's pretty much the same, but in a pink colorway and it's smaller take it apart i love the, how tiny they are it's like a travel edition it's so cute with the there's no book with this one you get a, a pdf book which i had sent to my email whereas these editions have got the book with them this doesn't have the guidebook with them sorry that's just stumped the thing down take the plastic sleeve off and i'll show you card by card and i think i might do a deck comparison at some point like i did with the muse but we'll do this Let's have a look through these so the same design is on the back with the bamboo and the butterflies and the watercolor so we have all oh, look, look at that look it's got lovely little streaks of color across it just on that side oh no hang on there's like a but that's like a proper ink smudge i kind of like that so we have the fool the magician the high priestess the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Panda, Death, Temperance, the devil is such a painful image of the devil the tower the star the moon the sun judgment the world and we have the ace of wands the two the three four five of wands six with the unicorn horn seven eight nine of wands ten and we're into the court so it's page of wands the knight the queen the king of wands oh and then we go into swords sorry the ace has just jumped off there ace of swords two of swords the three four five six Seven, eight, nine, the ten. These are really slidey poppy. It's like they want to talk, they want to play. Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. They just want to jump everywhere. Queen, the King. And then we go into the Cups, the Ace, the Two, Three, Four, Five of Cups, Six. Seven, eight, nine. Being mischievous. 
nine, ten, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king of cups, and then we are into the pentacles. So we have the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I'm just going to shuffle them into the box so they behave a bit better. Seven, eight, nine, ten, the page, the knight. The Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Fairy God Panda is the bonus card in this edition. Um, they're quite, as I said, they're quite small in the hand, so they're about palm size for me. And obviously they are in the same ratio, tarot ratio, it's just they are smaller scale. Let's have a look. They shuffle beautifully, absolutely, <laughs> these just want to jump beautifully. This feels like a naughty little, that, that toddler, that, like an older toddler, like three or four years old, you know, where they're just kind of mischievous and they just want to go off and explore and they're quite happy to run off and do their own thing without, <laughs> it's that sort of energy they've got about them. It's really cute. Um, yeah, so yeah, they shuffle beautifully. It has a matte texture to the cards. As you can see, there's no glare or anything from them. Um, they have that plasticky, cardboardy feel to them. They bounce and they're springy, but they don't stay. They don't stay bent. Some decks do stay bent when they bend. I think I had the Astara Tarot the other day that really bent, which was really helpful. Was that's the only way you could get the cards apart? But anyway, this one is beautiful, absolutely beautiful to play with, beautiful to shuffle, play with. It's got a really energetic fun feel to it also it's giving me an energy of i want to come along on a journey and i have an adventure with you so it wants to get out and explore the world in this perfect travel size so that kind of makes sense but yeah that is the way the panda i'm going to bring the siblings in because they just look so cute together look at that cute pandas cute pandas um so yeah that is the way of the panda tarot the baby edition i will at some point do the comparison videos between the three different decks to show you the bonus cards and and size differences um but yeah i hope that showed you everything you want to know i've just knocked paper off the side in case you wonder what the noise was um yeah if there's anything else you want to know as always let me know down below in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i can um thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon bye for now